Hello, welcome back to my channel. Today I've just been in a really good mood and I decided to film a review video for my Lady Dior. I just used it, I got back from the grocery store and I was returning a sweater that I just really wasn't keen on. I cannot be bothered to keep stuff that doesn't thrill me. I have too much stuff as it is. If I'm not excited to wear it, clothes, bags, whatever it is, it just, it needs to go. But this I love. I love it so much and not enough people are talking about how good this bag is. I know that the Lady Dior bag is hugely popular. This is the Lady Dior pouch with the chain. It's a little bit different from the wallet on chain and I'm going to go into all of that today. How much I love it, what maybe is not so great about it, why it might not work for you, different ways that I wear it, what fits inside, and as with all my reviews, I'm going to include Mod Juts. I've had this bag for one full year. I love it. I've used it so much more than I thought I would. I went in looking for a like neutral light pink colored bag and ended up walking out with this because I wore very dark clothes to the shop. That's something I wouldn't recommend. I mean, dress for the bag you're looking to buy, but I guess it worked out because this looked so good with my outfit and really they just, they didn't have the color I was looking for in the store. So they asked me to try this on for size. I just loved it and immediately so said, yes, that's the, that is the one I want. I want to take it home. It has been so great to use, so functional, so versatile. Oh my gosh, my cats are making noise, it scared the heck out of me. <laughs> okay, so to start out, I'm gonna go into a little bit of information about this bag. As I mentioned, this is the Lady Dior pouch. Sometimes it's mistakenly called the clutch online, but on the Lady Dior website, they do label it as the pouch. It comes with a detachable chain. It's beautiful, really delicate, light gold. And they're just attached to these little mini D-rings right there. As you can see, just really shiny and delicate. If you like the look of the mini Lady Dior, this has a really similar aesthetic. It also comes, so it comes in this little dust pouch. I keep it in there. comes with a very skinny zippered leather pouch. I have never used this. I suppose you could put very, very slim things in there. I don't know. It's never really been useful for me, but it also comes with an eight slot card holder with a top flap. Honestly, both of these could be really nifty because this is a low capacity bag and it doesn't have the built-in card slots the way most wallet on chains do it does have this back slip compartment but because it doesn't have the built-in card slots i actually love that these are removable you could honestly you could use this as just your wallet that you move in and out of different bags or if you didn't want to bother with the card slots you could pop all of your cards cash spare change, things like that in here. I haven't found this to be really useful, but that's just because I generally use my French wallet. It's quite petite, but the reason I love this over a typical wallet on chain is because this can just pop right in there and it fits no problem. So, it comes with those. It comes with these two little baggies, one where the chain is and also really special to the Lady Dior is the charm. I love that this is detachable because otherwise this doesn't scream Lady Dior. The canache pattern is the dead giveaway, but if you're not into Lady Dior, you're never going to know that this is a Dior bag. I feel perfectly comfortable wearing it around family during the holidays. I just use this to go out to the store. It doesn't scream designer, designer item, but it's so beautiful. I love the puffy quilts. I think they're even a little bit more unique and special, you know, over the Chanel quilted pattern. <laughs> they're both beautiful, but I, I just love these puffy quilts. It's definitely just a different textural element to it. But it comes with the little detachable charm. Very pretty. And that would just hook onto the D-ring there. 
Sometimes I keep it on, sometimes I don't. When I was running out to the store just now, I didn't bother putting it on. It jingles just a little bit. Not too annoying. But it is still really beautiful and understated. Even with it on, it's not that noticeable. No one passing you on the street is going to notice. But as I've mentioned in other videos, I don't always want to use items that scream designer, look at me, I spent a lot of money on this handbag. I just want something beautiful and I, I do it to get joy out of it, not to be showy or tell everyone that I got a fancy bag, but I just, I love it. It's really pretty and I like to play with it. I have used this as a clutch uh, when going out to dinner and when I went with my family for Christmas last year. But the reason I've gotten a ton of use out of this is because it comes with a detachable chain. I believe the Chanel walks, the chain is always on there. You can't take it off and I know that the length is a problem for a lot of people because it's often too long. I think they, they suit me well enough, but there are so many people who are more petite than me. Um, this is fantastic and so much better, in my opinion, than the Chanel walk, and here is why. Given that this is detachable, you can make this bag a smidge shorter. Like I said, there are so many people who are more petite than me, and what you can do, I'll try to show close-ups of this, you can li link the chain through the 1D ring and attach it to the opposite side. What that gives you is a slightly shorter bag. I do like my bags to sit a little bit higher sometimes, and if I'm wearing this with just jeans and a t-shirt, I, I like where it hits me. So, you see I have it looped through the D-ring. It's not going to come off, and then both clasps are right on here. So that just makes it a little bit shorter. If I'm wearing a bulky coat, obviously I'll wear it on its regular length, but I do really like this option. And again, if you're smaller than me, this might be a better fit than the Chanel walk. I don't wanna compare everything to Chanel because I don't know, it makes it seem like we're putting them on a pedestal, but it is just a really good comparison because there are so many informational videos on the Chanel options. This is a beautiful bag and I would absolutely buy it again. I would buy another one because they come in patent, they come in different patterns every year, I guess multiple times a year. Uh, Dior puts out different designs, different seasonal collections of the Lady Dior. And to be quite frank, I haven't convinced myself to buy a Lady Dior. I love them, they're beautiful, but they are a lot of money. This is still a lot of money. Anytime you're talking about a bag that is, you know, more than the average person's rent, it's it's a lot of money and you should absolutely take that seriously. But this was a little bit more affordable for me. I haven't been able to convince myself to buy the Lady Dior handbag, even though it's beautiful, but I love the seasonal collections. Of course, the seasonal designs are even more expensive, but they often do a version in this size and it's a little bit more of an attainable price point for me anyway. I know this year they have their whole tie-dye thing, not crazy about that, but they have the tie-dye, they have a floral pattern, they come in patent with still the canage pattern. Oh gosh, I've seen them do so many and I definitely see myself picking another one of these up. Okay, so now on to what fits inside. As I mentioned, I think this has incredible capacity. I know that there's this huge mini bag trend and some of them are just so dinky. I think they look a little ridiculous and they're going to date very quickly because they're just so tiny. I mean, comically tiny. This, this is so much more manageable. It's definitely a mini bag and it's on, so you could say it's on trend, but it's also just a really classic size for a woman's clutch, an evening clutch. I, this carries everything I need to during the day, and with it being black, it's going to match so many things, but I would absolutely pick up another pattern. <laughs> this fits my wallet. Let's see. My mask. 
And once again, I'm going to talk about how I use this old sunglasses case to fit all my extra bits and bobs. This bag is actually what made me start using this because I wanted to protect the lambskin when I get out of my car. I want to pop my keys in here. I mean, heck, if you want to be fancy, we can... Okay, here's a Chanel card holder. I mean, sorry, sunglasses case. <laughs> um, this bag is a little too small where I don't really want to waste the limited capacity on a mini zippered pouch. But here is some hand sanitizer, a little perfume. Pop my keys in here when I get out of the car. All of that just fits in here. It's not going to, I don't know, roll around the bag, make a mess. And all of that fits in nicely. Yep, and that is fully packed. I mentioned on Instagram, I've had a few questions about this bag. I mentioned that you can fit sunglasses in it, and that is true. However, I did want to expand on that because you would either have to use a very slim card holder, this is a little bit bulky, I mean, if it was the average card holder length, it would be half that. Or if you don't want to buy one of those, you don't have them, it's so great that it comes with these options because I can fit sunglasses into this bag when I use one of these to hold my cards, cash, things like that. So that, just pop in there. And they do kind of need to be slimmer sunglasses. These are just my really light, thin aviators. I can't even see them, but there we go. There is still plenty of room for, let's see, just my extra pouch. Let's see if that fits in there. And it does. So if you're someone who you have to be able to fit sunglasses into your bag along with your phone, all of that fits in here. It's a fantastic option. It's a smidge wider than your average wallet on chain and that's why it fits so much. I've had this bag for about a year now. As I said, it was my very first in-store purchase and it has held up beautifully. There is absolutely no wear and tear on this bag. I suspect that it will start to wear at the corners eventually, but I use this bag quite a bit. As I said, casually going out to the store, running errands, or going out to dinner, and I like that it's so versatile. I know that it will begin to show wear here eventually, along the sides, probably from where the chains hit it. But Dior is so well known for having incredible customer service. They'll absolutely, you know, spa the bag, <laughs> make it all shiny and new again, and repair any damage. There is not a single scratch on my hardware that I can see. Not one on the charm. No, this is the first time I'm really inspecting it, so <laughs> this is kind of nice to, to discover. It's worn beautifully. This is a full lambskin bag. If you're nervous about lambskin, I was. There's not a mark on it. There's not a scratch. I have heard that Dior's lambskin is a little bit more robust, a little bit harder wearing, and I mean, yeah, this is only one data point, but I would have to agree. <laughs> this is still in perfect condition. They have a cute, just, Oh my gosh, they have so many beautiful options. They have a beautiful white one right now. And if you've been looking for a white bag, I would highly recommend it in this size because it can be paired with sweaters. You can protect it from your jeans with, if you're wearing a cardigan or a coat, it looks gorgeous with against like a light gray or pink blue, anything like that. This is a fantastic, starter bag. If I were to make a video on, you know, low-key luxury or um, best starter bags, best first bag to buy, this, this would be on all of those lists. It's such a good buy because it is, 
I don't want to say affordable. I always want to catch myself because because it's weird talking to a camera. Sometimes you can just be a little bit too casual in your language and not watch what you say. It's a little it's a little bit more affordable than your average Chanel small bag. And this is a full leather bag and beautifully made from a historic house with all of the classic details of a Lady Dior. Some people find the um, handles on a typical Lady Dior to be really annoying and this doesn't have that. Again, I need to be able to wear most of my bags crossbody and this checks that box. It's such a good starter bag and that's why it was mine even though I couldn't find any information. It was just simply an impulse passion purchase because because I didn't know anything about it and I just got really lucky. Everyone in Dior is so lovely. Sometimes, oh this is, so, this is ridiculous, but sometimes I just I want to buy things from them to support that house over buying things from other houses. What I mean is because they're just so friendly, they're always so welcoming. I've been in there a dozen times and just not bought anything. There's never any pressure. They'll answer all of my questions, but I, I just want to like, I want to support them being so kind over other houses where I might put my money. This is such a good option if you're maybe not crazy about some of their newer styles. Um, I know that they have been toying with new logos and I think some of their newer bags are definitely going to be trendy pieces which will which will fade out eventually, be phased out, sorry, <laughs> and end up in outlets. I think this is just a classic. Obviously it's a part of their classic line and I can't say, I cannot say enough good things about it. If you have to carry a lot of stuff, then sure, this isn't for you. Uh, if you want a leather strap, then this isn't for you, even though I'm sure you could um, find, you know, you could find a, a like really thin black attachable strap. But given how small it is, it's really light. I've never, I've never felt any discomfort from the chain, even though it's just a little thin chain with no leather, um, you know, shoulder padding. It's just been incredibly comfortable, easy to use. I don't feel like I'm battling with the bag. I don't feel like it's too short, too long. All of that can get customized, as I mentioned earlier, so there's so much versatility. I just, I don't have the patience to fight with my bag anymore. I used to wear such fussy clothing, and then I became a weekend commuter and had no energy for that. But I still love designer items. I still love luxury bags. They're just so pretty. It's like carrying a piece of art with you. And that's what's really special to me about it. This ticks all of those boxes. Please do let me know if you have any questions. I, I'm trying to think of something bad to say about this bag and I can't. Mm. Nope, nope, I can't. I, if the capacity is a problem for you, okay, then that's not great, but, but that's fine for me. I haven't had a problem. Speaking of capacity, if you are interested in small bags, but you do struggle to make them work for you, um, and you don't want to try my trashy sunglasses case solution, another option is using like small microfiber bags like this. This comes with the Tom Ford makeup and you really can just pop things in here to protect the inside of your bag. This came with some jewelry I bought. It's just a simple cotton bag and it's a good solution for keeping your little essentials. Um, I, I think sometimes we get so wrapped up into the hype of buying all the little leather goods, especially as a first step towards a bag. I wasn't excited about those and I kept thinking, okay, yes, it's less money than a bag, but that's still like $400 gone. It's $400 that I then am further away from a luxury bag that I will be so much more excited to use. And then it's a cheap and easy solution, so I don't really care. I, I really enjoy smaller bags. I enjoy them on my frame, but I don't think that this is comically small so that it looks funny or trendy or like in a few years, it's gonna be like, oh God, remember how we were all about trendy, tiny bags. So glad that's over because that day will come. We're gonna be carrying huge buckets again in probably just a few years and I'm not really about spending that much money 
on a really trendy item big or, or small, you know, I don't want it to be so dinky that it looks funny and I also don't want to hurt my shoulders carrying a massive leather bag. I think this is a classic, beautiful item. The quilting is still nice and puffy and shiny as you would expect after just one year. I think this is a fantastic buy. If you are not into Lady Dior, something to note is Lady Dior is obviously under the same parent company that owns Fendi and Louis Vuitton. They have almost exact same bags from those houses. Louis Vuitton has it and Fendi has it with their monogram, their logos. They both come with these bits inside, chain strap, you know, the card holder, zippy pouch, they just have the gold Christian Dior logo on there. So if you happen to like those houses better, if you love those patterns, I'll try to insert some pictures. The Fendi of the, was it the Zuka print? It's so cute and I think it would look great with a lot of neutral outfits. I have considered buying that, but it's the exact same shape just with that print. Okay, so I think that is everything I wanted to say about this bag and I, I just think it's a fantastic piece. It please, if you have any questions, let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, consider liking and subscribing. My name is Megan and this is Train Girl in Motion. There is a whole story behind that name, which I will get into. I've mentioned I was a weekend commuter before COVID. It has a lot to do with that. Uh, you know, given like the 10 hour train rides round trip, I spent a lot of time commuting and it, it changed my life. It absolutely changed my perspective on luxury goods, clothes, how much I wanted to have, just trying not to, not, not to live a complicated life. Everything else was making my life complicated and I did not want my bags, shoes, and all that stuff to make it more complicated or uncomfortable. That just, it became crazy to me. I stopped wearing makeup, I stopped wearing heels, so much changed with that life. Obviously COVID then changed it all over again, but this is a beautiful bag and really easy to wear. I would love to answer any of your questions about it because it does not get nearly enough love on YouTube. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.